Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing in all the puppy cuteness from Too Faced Cosmetics. If you saw my recent purchase or past video, I got really excited about this adorable highlighter from Too Faced. This is the Glover Puppy Love Highlighter and I did exactly like I said I was going to do. <laughs> I bought one to use and then one to never touch so that I could always have the a little puppy imprint on the inside. I also decided that I would pick this up. This is the Pretty Puppy Limited Edition Eyeshadow Palette right here. And as always, I'm going to give you guys all the information. There's not a lot, so this should go over pretty quickly. I'm going to show you guys the swatches, and then I'm going to show you this quick eye tutorial and then how the highlighter goes on. So let me go ahead and start off with the Puppy Love Highlighter. It is limited edition. It's $30 and it's only on the Too Faced website. So it's a Too Faced website exclusive. I just want to show you really quickly. It's so beautiful. I've got my fingerprints all over it, but it's beautiful and cute at the same time. And I think that's what I really love about this specific thing in general. The palette is a little bit different, but I like that they chose like a classy type of finish, but then it's really stinking cute. And this is what the inside looks like. You have a large mirror. You have the puppy print on the actual highlighter. And then it says, be cool, not cruel, TF cruelty free. And then on the Too Faced website, it reads, as good as Glover. To celebrate the launch of Glover, a high-impact champagne gold highlighter inspired by Too Faced co-founders Jared and Jeremy's adorable fur baby, Clover, we're donating $25,000 to the Vanderpump Dog Foundation. Always cool, never cruel. So that is really neat that they're doing that. Now let me go ahead and show you a quick swatch of this highlighter before moving on to the palette. Now this is what the palette looks like. So instead of it being, <laughs> you know, a little bit like chic on the outside and cute, it's just cute. It's just plain straight up cute. And I really love puppies. My husband will always, always, always yell for me whenever Jimmy Fallon has like the puppies come out. He's like, honey, puppies. <laughs> I just love them. They're just, I, I just do. I really get, they get to me. Anywho, this is a $28 palette limited edition. And this is what the inside looks like. Let me go ahead and show you guys the swatches of this neutral eyeshadow palette. And we have back to the bone, snuggle time, puppy nose, heavy petting, vanity fur, and bow wow. On the Too Faced website, it reads, for the Pretty Puppy Eyeshadow Palette, this cute as a puppy nose palette will be your new beauty best friend. It's filled with six purely pigmented and easy to blend shadows with versatile mix of matte and metallic finishes that will have you looking positively fetching. <laughs> I like the little play on words right there, but let me go ahead and get into this eye look. I wanted to do something super simple because it seems like every single time I do a really simple look that just is almost nothing, you guys always want to see it. So I didn't go for anything extravagant here. I just did something super easy, super simple, and let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to start off with a Sonia G Builder 3 and this shade right here. I'm going to start by just packing this all over the lid. I want to make sure I get it all the way up to the crease right around the edges and all the way to the inner corner. Zoeva 227, same shade, and now I'm going to start rounding that out. I'm taking it into the crease, and then I'm slowly going to start buffing it upwards. MAC 242 and the lightest shade in the palette. I'm going to take this right underneath my brow arch and also help to clean up the edges of that last shade. 
Now I want to add a little bit of depth to the lash line. So you could either go in with a darker shade for it to be a little bit more dramatic or softer with this shade. And I'm going to go for the softer look this time. I'm using a Smith 220. And I'm just going to stamp this right at my lash line. I'm not trying to make this precise. I just want to add some color here. I'm going to go ahead and dust away my bake. MAC 221 and the original shade we used. I am just going to blow out the lower lash line with this shade. Back in with the Smith 220 in this shade right here. And I'm just going to stamp this right up against the lower lashes. I'm not going to bring it down as far as I did the lash shade. This is just basically matching up to the top lash line. ESMW21 and this metallic pink. I am going to take this right on the inner corner. I decided to go in with it just a little damp to add some intensity. And now I finished off the look with Boss Liner on the top inner rim as always, and then a pair of Kiss Ritzy lashes. Now it's time to add on the glow. So I'm taking Glover and I'm using my Linda Hallberg 306 because when I touch this, this is a slightly stiffer formula. It's still powder. It's not like a gel -A or anything like that, but it's slightly stiffer. So I decided to go with this brush because it tends to pick up a little bit more. Now, as you can see, when I first go in, with my first layer it's very very subtle very natural so if you wanted to use this and have a very natural look you definitely could but I decided to build it up and before I went in and buffed you can see this definitely gave me a glow I don't think this is as intense as a lot of my other highlighters especially the gel -A type of formula but it does give a nice glow and it doesn't add too much texture it does add a little bit but not too much. I think that after I have buffed and everything where I take my powder and just go over everything, that it gives me a highlighted look. Like you can definitely tell that I'm wearing highlighter, but a lit from within as well. I really like it on my forehead and chin and whatnot. So I don't think this is a must have. This is just a nice to have product and it's for a good cause. I think it looks beautiful. It's not going to work really on anybody. I would say probably darker than NC30, 35 is kind of pushing it. I would like for Too Faced to come out with, when they do this type of thing, come out with two. At least come out with two. So you could have a lighter version and a darker version. I think that would be nice. So anywho, again, I'm very happy to have it. I think it's adorable. I think it's pretty. It works on me, but I don't think it's a must have. You definitely have something in your collection that is like that highlighter. It's just that I had to have it. <laughs> now for the little eyeshadow palette, I really like the look that I got out of it. I wasn't trying to do anything dramatic or anything like that. I think that you definitely could with this shade being in there. This has little sparkles in there in the shadow, but you're not going to see that unless you use some type of glitter glue or something. I am happy with the pigmentation, the blendability, everything like that. I do think that everybody, again, has these shades in the their collection. I really like how this color looked on my inner corner whenever I used it wet. So it's just going to be one of those things that are up to you. This palette I could see myself like passing on to my daughters just because it's cute, it's neutral, and as long as they don't pack this shade all over their eyes, we'll be okay. <laughs> but is it an absolute necessity? No. Is it good quality? Yes. You guys let me know what you think about the puppy highlighter and the puppy palette. I'm definitely the most excited about the little puppy highlighter. I love it. So I'm not going to lie. You guys let me know what you think down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.